Hey guys, Adrian here. Today I'm going to share with you my tip for update 6.9. So many of you have been asking me, you know, how do you play the Demeter? This is going to be my very short guide. And uh, for those of you who don't have the Demeter, don't worry, I have you covered. I'm going to share with you one tip in order to take out the Demeter uh, if you don't have one yourself. So the Demeter works much like the Nodens. Um, it can be tricky to play at times because of how the targeting works. Uh, there's two ways to heal. The first way is by teleporting. The range for that is 500 meters. The second way is by activating it without teleporting. So I always try to stay close to my teammates so that I can protect them, you know, with my shield. If you do see a Demeter nearby, always try to stay close to it because if they are using the Jerry Fortune pilot, your damage will actually increase by 20%. So always be mindful of that. And lastly, the counter. So if you don't have a Demeter, one of the best ways to counter this robot is to use Shield Breaker. So instead of using Repair Unit or Advanced Repair, Phase Shift, uh, use Shield Breaker. This is going to allow you to do damage to the Demeter, even though it might have its Absorber Shield up. So uh, there's a number of weapons that I recommend. Uh, as you can see in my example, I am using a Scorpion with the Cryo Rhyme setup, and I was able to take a Demeter out with that. So that was my very short tutorial on how to use the Demeter and how to counter it. Thanks for watching my update 6.9 tip. Hey guys, this is Kitty War Robots, aka Ben, aka Professor. And gonna mention two tips about the update 6.9. On 6.9, the new weapons are here. And these are basically 500 meter rockets. They have special effect called area damage. And what it does is once the rocket hits the enemy and it uh, reaches a certain threshold, the, your target starts exploding and doing damage to its own allies. Now, if you end up with one of these weapons, Make sure you shoot at clustered targets to really maximize its effect. And as you can see here, I'm kind of doing that. And of course, the heavy type accumulates its effect uh, fastest, medium, second, and light last. Now, this tip could be pretty obvious. Uh, we have the special version of the Demeter now. It's called the Sheriff Demeter. And it, it's got the cool design um, compared to the normal one. But keep, also keep in mind that the Sheriff Demeter, anything that's special will have more HP. And of course, a lot of you know this already, but if you, ha if you happen to have both, I suggest you upgrade the special version because it has 10% more hit points. And thanks for watching my two tips. My tip for update 6.9 is about being cautious against the new hybrid flamethrower weapons. Scald, Scorcher and Incinerator are 500 meter range rockets that bypass both physical and blue energy shields. But their biggest feature that you should be careful about is their newly introduced blast charge effect. After certain hits target explodes and deals damage to both itself and all players nearby. These weapons also have a splash radius just like other rockets but a small one that you should be aware of. When you see any of those weapons targeting you, first thing you need to do is check if there are any allies nearby. If you see any teammates near you, just make sure that you are not too close to each other. This way you will reduce the amount of damage that your enemy will cause to your team. After that, either try to dodge those scorching flames, get out of their effective range or approach the target to eliminate him or her. This was my tip for update 6.9, I hope it was helpful. Hey everyone, this is Justice. My tip for the 6.9 update is all about special delivery and planning ahead. First, realize how much time you have to collect coins for free or purchase them. Realize special prize in 4 really means on the 5th delivery you get the prize here in the 4th and same here on the 4th you get the special prize. Calculate the cost of coins per each crate opening. That way we can plan long term in the best manner. Recommend look at every item in the crate Maybe you love Boombox Devastator. However, if there's too many items that you already have or do not prefer, for example, maybe you have all those pilots, maybe you already have Hawk or Sonic weapons and don't really need any more, then this may not be the best crate for you overall. Looking at the second one, this one here has the new Skull. It's always great to have the new weapons. Magnetar is one of the best light weapons. Demeter with extra durability is absolutely fantastic. Hornet is great even on classic bots. All these components, fantastic. 
Demeter with extra durability skin is always good. A new legendary pilot for Demeter is out of this world. The gold, not so much. That's uh, not really gonna help too much. All these are okay. And the power cells are just okay. So for example, in this crate, maybe only two of these items are not the best or a downside. So overall, this might be a good crate to open. Looking at the third one, with the same mindset and planning. Uh, Dread Shell has the best durability. It's a meta bot for certain. Lunar Grom, oh, that is awesome. Uh, the Incinerator, Luna Squall, really nice designs. Collector items, of course. Uh, you may have Linda Kano already. Let's see, uh, you may have Oxminos already. But overall, seems like a good crate with the newer items. So that may be a good spin. So plan ahead to give you the best chances at attaining the items that will give you the best competitive advantage to keep you strong in the battlefield. Wishing you the best for your hangar. Bring justice to your life in 2021. Justice out. Hey everyone, it's Manny and my tip for you is to make aware of the power of Jump Unit, an active module that goes on to most robots, especially interesting also on flying robots as it gets you even higher. It will allow you to reach much better positions on the map that are harder to reach for enemy attacks and of course gives you a better look and angle on the battlefield similar to an Ao Ming flying. You can hit people that others might not be able to hit, right? The next thing is you can surprise enemies with sudden line of sight as I like to call it. They sit behind cover and feel safe and all you've got to do is hit that active module and you've got them, right? The next thing is what you know is scorpions love to do is they jump on you and as a sniper that usually doesn't end well for you but here you see a scorpion coming in I realize he's going to jump on me I jump sideways as soon as he arrives behind me and I'm able to surprise him instead of the other way around, right? And then one last thing the counter to shields from above like Arthur's or shell robots uh, you are so high up especially on for example on a hawk robot they can simply bypass the shield by shooting over it from this location. So uh, yeah, that was my tip for you, but here comes another one. Hey, what's up everyone? This is AD Gaming and here is my new tip for the new update 6.9. So I will talk about the how to save your power cells. So everybody knows that the power cells, they are really, really important in this game. And also sometimes they are one of the key factor in order to win the game if you're activating them in the perfect time so in order to demonstrate that i will show you here is my brother in front of me with this big juicy fan here i will show you a demonstration of one of the example to save your parcels so if you're gonna lose your game for example i have a low hp you can see it so i'm going to show you i'm gonna activate my phase shift and anyway i'm gonna be dead right so I have low HP, so here is my brother, he killed me, so I wasted my power cells here. So this is just a, a little example of how to save your power cells. If you know for sure that you're gonna lose your game, so you should save your power cells and not to use phase shift or healing or any kind of other active modules. So this is just my new tip, my little tip for the new update. So yeah, that, that's it and have a good day slash night. Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another War Robots video and this is a tip for the newer players, all right? A lot of new guys start spending their gold as soon as they're getting it and that's a big mistake, all right? Don't spend any of your gold until you've unlocked all five robot slots, guys. Having five slots is extremely important, so please don't go out and buy weapons or robots or anything else with that gold until you have all five slots. Think about this, all right? You're in a battle and you've only got three or four robots. Well, once your robots are dead, you're out. Your team is down a man, all right? Let's just say two or three players on your team only have four robots instead of five. But the other team, everybody over there has five robots. They've got 30 robots plus possibly a Titan. So that's 30 to 35 robots on the other team, depending on if they have Titans or not, all right? And if your team only has like four robots per hangar, man, you guys are at a huge disadvantage. You're probably going to lose. You're going to lose league points. You won't get as much honor. Plus, if all your robots are gone, you know, if you have that extra robot or extra two robots, you can get back in the battle to do more damage, which is going to earn you more silver. It's going to earn you more of everything and help you progress through the game. So, guys, stop spending your gold until you've unlocked all five of your robot slots 
that's one of the most important things you can do as a new player is unlock all five slots all right hopefully this tip helped and we will catch you guys later see ya Hey, ya me conoces, soy Pinceladas, estoy acá muy feliz de estar visitando el canal oficial del juego representando a la comunidad latina, te voy a dar unos consejos de la actualización 6.9 así que quédate atento, esta actualización trajo armas totalmente nuevas armas que son una mezcla de misil y lanzallamas tiene un efecto que yo lo llamo bomba, dime si no le queda bien que hace que tu objetivo acumule el efecto y explote cuando explota también le hace daño a los que están al lado así que cómo vas a evitar todo esto bueno primer consejo velocidad sin duda alguna tener más velocidad te va a permitir esquivar estos misiles suena sencillo verdad escudos mi opción favorita son los escudos impenetrables déjame en los comentarios qué opciones a ti te gustan en relación a los escudos Vas a evitar a toda costa los robots que sean lentos, ya que van a ser blancos muy fácil de estos misiles. A toda costa vas a evitar los que tengan escudos físicos. Si tú ves que el campo enemigo tiene estas armas, vas a evitar usar escudos físicos. Y finalmente, dime si sabes qué es el daño por salpicadura. Estas armas lo tienen, así que muy atento cuando te escondes, ya que te pueden hacer daño en una esquina. Mi opción favorita para el combate de corta y mediano alcance va a ser este para que te protejas de estas armas. ¿Cómo te vas a proteger? Este Hades cuenta con un escudo impenetrable que cada 12 segundos, sí, como estás escuchando, 12 segundos vas a tener la opción de protegerte. Eso suena magnífico. Módulos pasivos y activos, te recomiendo el Clocking Unit, cuando tu robot recibe daño se activa sigilo y bueno, eso te sirve para evitar explotar. El Face Shift te va a servir sin duda cuando veas que un aliado va a estar a punto de estallar, apretas Face Shift y evitas ese efecto negativo. Las habilidades de piloto que más le sirven a este tipo de robot Va a ser conductor agresivo para tener un buff de velocidad y esquivador. ¿Pero por qué esquivador? Porque te permite que tu módulo activo, después de usarlo, recargue mucho más rápido. Dime si eso no suena genial. En materia de velocidad, juegas ofensiva de baliza y tus enemigos tienen esas armas. ¿Cómo vas a hacer? Bueno, el Strider es un dash que vas a tener la opción de hasta 5 impulsos de velocidad súper súper genial ahí vas a poder esquivar todo tipo de ataque en relación a misiles los módulos pasivos y activos sigue siendo el clocking unit la mejor defensa y en este caso te recomiendo el jump para que puedas saltar y abarcar mucho más espacio cuando te movilizas dime si eso no suena súper súper fácil sí o no y el piloto la habilidad que te recomiendo va a ser conductor agresivo ya sabes que vas a tener más velocidad y conductor agresivo persistente de qué va esa bueno cuando tus enemigos tengan en poder o en control tres palizas tu strider va a tener otro buff de velocidad más que genial así vas a evitar el efecto negativo de estas armas bueno gente Espero que les haya gustado estos consejos. Paseate por el canal de Pinceladas, dale like a este video y deja en los comentarios que está feliz de que haya representación latina en este video. Me despido. Bye, bye.